This is the beryllium, which I don't really want to get out. Why not? Because it's got, because it causes, well, because it's a toxic chemical, uh, toxic element metal. Beryllium is an interesting element because most chemists don't really know about it very much at all. But beryllium laden dust actually has been shown to cause brilliosis, which is actually a um, an industrial lung disease, which causes the formation of uh, sort of uh, sort of swollen sort of uh, nodules in the lungs called granulomas, which is a bit gross. So I don't really want to open up the jar, but it's actually a uh, beryllium's a sort of silvery sort of metal, um, and it's actually at the top of the group two or the alkaline earth metals. Um, so it's pretty lightweight. Uh, it actually does have uses, uh, although given its toxicity, it's actually quite useful sometimes. It's near the beginning of the periodic table, but we rarely come across it. I talk about in my lectures, I explain that beryllium chloride, the molecule that has three atoms, two chlorine atoms and one beryllium atom, has the three atoms arranged in the row. So it's a straight molecule, so-called linear molecule. But I've never seen beryllium chloride. Uh, chemists use it um, in, on uh, x-ray diffractometers because actually it's so lightweight. It's actually only got atomic number four. It only has um, four protons and a number of neutrons. So if x-rays fall on atoms of beryllium, they're not scattered very much. So it's like the difference between shining light through a glass window and if you made it out of a heavier material, it would be like shining through paper. It would be scattered. You wouldn't get a good image. I'm hoping to actually do some chemistry with beryllium, which is why I've bought it. Um, yeah, it's pretty toxic, so I'm, we're going to have to be very, very careful. You can't actually breathe in the dust at all, because even actually one exposure has shown that, that, that some people, with some, some people, one exposure is, is enough to cause this sort of sensitive reaction. But beryllium is very poisonous, so if you do use the, these beryllium windows, you have to be careful not to lick your fingers. Well, good chemists shouldn't lick their fingers anyway.